Misfortunes never come lonely. Queen undergoes another loss after Philip's broken-hearted event. The Queen had fortune, the Dowager Duchess of Grafton Shadow her since she first rose through the ranks to become mistress of the wardrobe in 1967. Fortune, who would have turned 102 in February, died on December 3rd after 75 years of loyal service as she first began to attend to the Queen as a Lady of the Bedchamber a year into her reign. The Dowager Duchess was the widow of the 11th Duke of Grafton, Hugh Fitzroy, a descendant of King Charles II and his mistress Barbara Villiers. According to French website Histoire Royals, Fortune was the most loyal friend and aide to the Queen. Born Anne Fortune Smith in 1920 into the banking Smith family, she married Hugh Fitzroy in 1946, when he had yet to inherit the ducal title from his father and still used the subsidiary title of Earl of Euston. The pair shared five children together, two boys and three girls. Fortune first entered the court of Elizabeth II as a lady of the bedchamber, a position she shared with Elizabeth, the Countess of Leicester. Three years after becoming mistress of the wardrobe, she took on the title of Duchess of Grafton following the death of High's father. The heir presumptive to the duchy, James Fitzroy, died before both Hugh and Fortune and the title passed to the couple's grandson Henry Fitzroy when the 11th Duke died himself in 2011. The strong relationship she shared with Her Majesty was further cemented when the Duchess of Grafton made the Queen the godmother to her second daughter, Lady Virginia Fitzroy, in 1954. While mostly working behind the scenes, the Queen paid tribute to Fortune's service and made her Lady Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order in 1980. She remained one of the Queen's most long-standing and closest friends until her death on Friday. It follows a turbulent year for the Queen in which she has had to deal with the departure of grandson Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to the US and the death of husband Prince Philip. Philip was her strength and guide throughout their 73-year marriage and her 69-year reign. Crowds of mourners laying flowers and tributes at palaces became so large they were told to disperse because of the pandemic following his death. The nation was subsequently left heartbroken by photographs of the grief-stricken queen sitting alone during her husband's funeral as she was forced to mourn away from her devastated children and grandchildren during the Covid-secure ceremony. Her Majesty, 95, wiped away tears and bowed her head in reverence in St. George's Chapel this afternoon as she bid a final and emotional farewell to her strength and stay Prince Philip, to whom she was married for 73 years, while socially distancing and wearing a face mask. Slashed was the 800-strong guest list of royals, politicians and celebrities who may have been expected to descend on Windsor for the historic send-off. Instead just 30 mourners and four singers were allowed at the service as bottles of hand sanitizer were dispensed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also said earlier this year they will not return as working members of the royal family. The Queen confirmed the couple would not continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service.